Hello, my name is Greta Harrison. Welcome to Born Fabulous Podcast, Episode 21 of Season 2. The theme of this season is changing the world, one friendship at a time. You will hear interviews with best friends. One person happens to have a disability and the other does not. This episode is the sixth of an eight-part interview with Micah Fialka Feldman and his best friend, Tori Cedar. Micah Fialka Feldman is well known as one of the stars of Dan Habib's acclaimed movie, Intelligent Lives. He is a teaching assistant at Syracuse University, a keynote speaker, and an author. Micah's best friend, Tori Cedar, is a graduate student working on her doctorate. She and Micah have been best friends for about six years. Tori does not have a disability. In this episode, Micah and Tori share some memorable moments in their friendship. Please enjoy this short clip of Love is a Potion. The lyrics are by Melissa Riggio, who was the focus of episodes one through four in season one. The music and voice are by Rachel Fuller. Tori, how has Micah been there for you in the last five years in your very important moments? Um, I mean, I guess just like I'm reiterating, um, I don't know what, without being, without being in, at first starting in the Disability Student Union, meeting Micah, getting involved in um, Inclusive You, because Micah was a part of Peer to Peer. So um, when they asked me to join with our friend Jordan, uh, who's yeah. also a part of Micah's mm-hmm. um, support group. Yeah. Um, the three of us and being in that community and, and learning so much is truly, I think why I then got invested in PALS and ultimately decided to truly spend the rest of my life doing what we do. Um, so I think, you know, how has Micah been a part of that? I mean, he, he is that he, he truly is, is such uh, just like a, a rock into all of, of what I do. And, um, our, our friendship has been so much to me. He's been there through, you know, hard times in, in undergrad in terms of, you know, the direction I wanted to go in and, um, you know, different stuff with, with relationships. And, um, he's just always been someone, you know, when I get stressed over, over inclusive you and in, in terms of what should we be doing or, on nights if I had my hands full, Micah would always step up and um, really just be someone that I could rely on when um, I needed someone to, to to really just help me out and support me. Um, and, you know, to this day, every day, you know, we check in and make sure that, um, you know, we don't have to be good all the time. We don't have to be good every day. We don't have to be happy every day, but because, um, you know, that, that ebbs and flows, but just to, to be each person's um, sense of just talk to me what's going on, um, checking in day to day. Um, that's been super special. Like I, I like did help you uh, pack and pack and I think we took a walk. <laughs> yeah. Me. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Talk about that. We, I, she was like packing up to leave after she graduated, like in this, like later in, in the spring. And then I, um, came to visit her, came to like help her and then we took a walk and then we like took a walk be be uh for she was uh going to uh um uh, going to like um going to like uh head home and stuff. Yeah, Micah helped pack my car up <laughs> <laughs> to go home from Syracuse. Um and yeah, we just like took a walk. I think we we bumped into a couple of our friends that we've met together. Yeah. Um, that we were able to say bye to. And I mean, it was fitting that um, obviously it wasn't a goodbye. I was up no. that summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just, um, you know, symbolic of um, like I helped load up my car. And that was, but also symbolic to 
um, he, he was a huge part of, of building up my career and growth and professional, um, dedication to the rest of my life. And now he's helping me pack up my belongings and end mm -hmm. this chapter in Syracuse and, uh, you know, let me fly my wings and send me off to New Jersey and, um, start doing some cool stuff there. That's very normal, right? Yeah. Very, very normal. Now, let's ask this. Has your friendship extended to either of your families? Definitely. I, Micah's mom, so I was invited, um, Intelligent Lives was filmed, uh, I'm sorry, screened, is that the word? Yes, yeah, screened. Streamed, screened. Um, in New Jersey last October and Micah wasn't even traveling mm -hmm. and Micah's mom, he wasn't traveling to it, which I was kind of upset because I wanted to see Micah. Mm -hmm. Like it's coming to New Jersey. Like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Um, but his mom was actually the one that was like, no, we, we would love for you to be there. And I didn't know anyone that was going. Um, I left class early. I was, you know, I wrote a message to my professor explaining how important this was and they were totally like, awesome go for it um i played the trailer in class before i left um except for everyone to see um but i got there and uh micah's parents were just so welcoming to me we, we've had a conversation before that but this was really the first time that i had met them um and i was with them the whole night i kind of felt like i was like another child <laughs> like um because I, I didn't really know anyone there, but they were, you know, they were doing their thing. They were mingling with everyone because they knew everyone there. Um, you know, there's such awesome parents and advocates and allies in this field, in this community. And um, the way that, that they love Micah and support Micah is just so beautiful to see. Um, so being able to be there with them and have them spread that love to me just felt really awesome. And um, I have this really nice picture of, um, me and Micah's mom from after it that, um, that I just love. And, and I think we have this all of, I mean, we, all of us in this community of, of allyship and, um, and love for each other, you share some kind of bond without even saying it, right. It's like this unspoken, just understanding of, um, and I felt that the both of us really shared that. Um, Micah's never met, no, you met my mom. Micah's yeah. met my mom. Yeah. Um, everyone in my family knows Micah by name. <laughs> um, I, I sent my mom the picture that Micah posted last night on Facebook. And she was like, hey, Micah, like knows like Micah by name. And my family has been, um, are just super used to it. Like for them, people um, through pals and through Inclusive You, um, it's just a part of our everyday lives that these are the people that I surround myself, me and my sister surround ourselves with. So. Before I um, move on, I'm thinking about the last question that I asked you and your important moments in your lives. And I know that I know the answer, but I want to ask this anyways. When each of you wants to get married, correct? In the future, sometime with the right person, each of you wants to get married. When that happens, you will each be part of that major occasion, correct? Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know my answer to that. So, uh, yeah, uh, yes, definitely. Michael will a thousand percent be there. I want a beach wedding, so <laughs> I grew up on the beach, so I don't want anyone in shoes. Everyone just <laughs> chill. And at, uh, at my wedding, I'm going to have people wear jeans. Perfect. <laughs> but you'll each be a major part of it. Okay, I wanted to do that. Um, as far as the what you just mentioned about the screening and how you got to meet Micah's parents and you have that picture. Yeah. Well, make sure you send me that picture. And we'll put that on the website on your page. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Micah, let's let's hear a sweet story about Tori. Maybe just like maybe just like um, running in the winter and and getting hot chocolate and and like. Uh, running up a big uh, hill on <laughs> campus and and like um and like going out to eat and just um just like 
just like sitting on sitting on campus and just chatting and talking and just like just like having a chat and talk and have fun and 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 just like knowing that when I call her, we have fun chatting and talking and oh yeah, and and I think another story um about like when um when I um yesterday when she asked me about favorite songs, we um were playing a song about James Taylor and friends, and it was like a cool song to know that 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 uh, we we like the same songs and. Yeah. So you like uh, you like the song "You've Always Got a Friend." Yeah. By James Taylor. Yeah. So, so would you like call, if you had to pick a song, would you call that your song? Yeah. Definitely. That's- I love James Taylor, so um, we were jamming out to him yesterday in the car. <laughs> yeah. That's a great song. It's a classic, perfect mm-hmm. song. That's wonderful. Well, you know, the picture that you painted of running and going to get hot chocolate, that to me equals sweetness. So I think that's great. <laughs> and how about you, Tori? Do you have a sweet story about Mike about Micah? Um, it's hard to to pinpoint like one specific one. Um, but I think a lot of what I remember it being like just like sweet points of my undergrad career is um in I think it was my junior or senior year they kind of reconstructed uh Huntington Hall which is that we used to be in Hoople that building that we were just talking about that now is a different building so they moved us from Hoople to the school of ed building um and which basically was my second home even though I wasn't even in the school of ed um but that's where inclusive you lived so that's also where I lived um, and Micah had his own office in that, um, in that building. And it was like at the end of the hall of the, like the inclusive view wing, as we called it, it was, it was like a hallway. Um, but we thought we, you know, we were cool by saying wing. Um, but Micah would have like a break time between, um, like a meeting or lunch. And, uh, I would pop my head into his office. Um, or at, like if we would, we would be in passing, um, and it, it was something that I looked forward to on the days that I could r- get in there and just pop my head in, uh, again, when I was feeling stressed or anything like that, um, my go was just, uh, a face that I needed to see. Um, you know, we would just talk about like what you're eating for lunch or, <laughs> um, that's another thing that we do a lot is like talk about like our diet and fitness and, um, all that stuff. But that was a little tangent. Um, I think like just those are mom- like little moments that I like still look back on and I would look forward to of just making sure I touch base with Micah um, and pop my head into his office. Um, sometimes I would do meetings in there um, and that was just really awesome and, and sweet of him to just, you know, allow me just to, to sit in there when I needed a minute. Thank you for listening to Born Fabulous Podcast's 21st episode of season two. I hope you enjoyed it and want to hear more. If you would like to see this episode, it is available on YouTube and on bornfabulouspodcast.com. The friendship between Micah and Tori is a joy to see as well as hear. In episode 22, Micah and Tori will share a valuable template for friendship and discuss dating issues. To see some photos and videos of Micah and Tori or to sign up for our email list, please go to www.bornfabulouspodcast.com. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, find us on Twitter at Podcast Born, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Pinterest. I'd be honored if you would leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Now, please enjoy this clip of Love is a Potion. The lyrics are by Melissa Riggio, who is the focus of episodes one through four in season one. The music and voice are by Rachel Fuller. Love.